to have a number one movie in six different decades. Woo! He is an Oscar-nominated legend whose movies have made over $4 billion at the box office. Woo! Yes. And he is someone that you definitely would not want to get into a fight with. Please welcome the legendary Sylvester Stallone! <laughs> Thank you very much. Can you feel the love? I can. You know, I, it's, I haven't been doing this for a long time. I went, oh, no. It's oh. like surreal. You know yeah. what I mean? You just, after a while, when you go on publicity tours, you, you do a lot of speaking. After a while, you become, like, robotic. Uh -huh. This is now, I'm feeling this. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, wow. I, Thank you. I just have to tell you that it has been a dream of mine when, when everybody asked when I first got my talk show, they said, who is your dream guest? And I said, Sylvester Stallone. No. I yeah. wanted Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. Well, thank you. So my first official question to you is, do I call you Sylvester, Sly, Mr. Stallone, George? Or what's, what do I call who? Arnold. <laughs> no. uh -oh. Sly is good, Sly, thank you. Sly, yeah, Sly. yeah. I, yeah. I just, I, I'm a huge fan of your work anyway. I've seen Rambo and Rocky and everything, but, but I have binged watched Tulsa King. I am oh. such a big fan of Tulsa King. And Sly, first of all, I can't believe that this is the first time that you are playing an Italian mobster. <laughs> how, how, out of all the, how is this possible? I keep getting passed over. What? I go. I can beat up Al Pacino. I can beat up <laughs> Didier. No, what happened is, I, all the way back to The Godfather, it was 1970. I wanted to be an extra, like, hiding behind the wedding cake in the marriage scene. It's like yeah. one of 300 people go, I don't know, you just don't look. I go, excuse me? So, <laughs> years later, and I keep following Scorsese, like I do the Italian style. Yes. He goes, Am I ready? He goes, I don't know, you just don't. So, finally, when the idea for Tulsa King came around, 50 years later, I went, I'm in. Okay. And I was only planning, thank you. I just wanted to do one season and just right. prove a point because I didn't know how it was going to go, but it looks like we may You're have another one. You're coming back for a second season. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled me back in. I mean, but it's so like I, I root for you. I, I, you are so poignant with the relationship with your daughter yeah, yeah. and and the the cast around you. Mm -hmm. I, like you, you are you are such a human being. You humanize just being an Thank Italian you. mobster <laughs> who is who has come out. You know what I thought? I, it's like. Why overthink it? I've seen so many guys play gangsters, and all of a sudden they give you that dead stare and a look, and it's this. Yeah. It's like that attitude all of a sudden. I thought, what if one day you just woke up? Every one of, one of you, just, mm -hmm. you have your normal personalities, but instead of doing, like going working for a bank, you're a gangster, but you have the same personality. Right. Like you are who you are, yeah. but you're also a gangster. <laughs> and, and, and when people cross that line, that's when that clicks in. When they don't cross that line, you're very, hello, how are you? Yeah, You're absolutely. not trying to intimidate or anything else. Oh, my gosh. And I love everything you're bringing to it. I Thank love you. you created magic with Rocky. Yeah. Just in F. <laughs> I mean. I... The, uh, it's just so inspiring. Now, 50 years miracle. later. I know. This minor miracle. Slide, the Rocky franchise, it still lives on. I know. And it's, it's still just as relevant today mm -hmm. and also with Creed. Right. Now, <laughs> we loved you in Creed. Thank you. It was so wonderful seeing you in Creed. Now, can you believe that this story is still going oh, on? Oh, I know. Michael B. Jordan's going on. Uh, because at the end of the second one, mm -hmm. I, I'm looking at it, I'm kind of teary. go, now it's your time. Yeah. And I decided that should be my farewell. <laughs> so yeah. if I showed up in the third one, go, hey, how many farewells are you going to have, pal? <laughs> Get lost already. <laughs> so it was his time.
Oh, man. You know, you, you are such a big action star. Now, I remember seeing you when you at dinner one time and you were outside and you just, you, you were big and you had that walk. Do people come up to you and want to pick a fight with you? All the time. All the time? That's right. All the time. It's really interesting what triggers people. What? Well, quite often, if they come up for a selfie okay. and you go, ah, I'm with the family, all right? And you go, oh, okay, so now he's looking at you all day, just dying. Or, uh, or if um, somebody's had a few too many drinks. Yeah. But basically, it's mostly Italians. <laughs> it really is. I, I, I'm Same sorry, guys. Group. It's for some reason, they think they're the Italians. <laughs> and not, I'm telling you, I literally watch what I go, oh, if I'm going into an Italian rest, there's a good chance. Yeah. I'm going to get pasta. <laughs> yeah. So. How many times do people walk up to you and say lines from your movie? Hey, yeah. all, all the time. All really? the time. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't no. He goes, especially like if they go, they do the yo Adrian, he goes, I ain't going down. Or the, anything like that. Yeah. He goes, it ain't about how hard you hit. But they always mess it up. He goes, it ain't about how it hit you hard. <laughs> and they go, guys, hey, man. Say <laughs> that kind of situation. But the thing is, I gotta be respectful to that because it's a yes. fact that they actually mm -hmm. memorize something. It's like extraordinary yeah. to me. It's so extraordinary. I, I, one thing I did not know was that you and Arnold Schwarzenegger were bitter rivals during the 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah. And well, like... look at him, he copies everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, even the same thing. And my... Like, y'all didn't get along in the 80s and 90s, and, and now you're friends. Yeah. How did this happen? Oh. <laughs> Look at this. You're carving pumpkins. Very good friends. Actually, it's, it's kind of interesting. We should do a movie about grumpy old men. Yes. That's it. This is it. Yes. You know? But grumpy, dangerous old men. You know? <laughs> That's kind of... What happened is he... Basically, once we stop competing against one another, let's say, okay. like, Ali Fraser, you're not fighting anymore. He really kind of like welcomed the fact that he was a great enemy mm -hmm. and he pushes you. It's antagonistic. We were always competing with one another. Then he moved on to run for governor. And of course, I thought he was deplorable. I said, I'm never going to vote for him, never anything. Yeah. And then he calls. He goes, Would you help out? I go, Sure. <laughs> I don't know why it happened like that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I can see you two as two grumpy old, like, oh, ex, like ex mobsters or ex assassins yeah. or ex somebody. And now you just. I know. Oh, I know. my gosh. Yeah, we should have done something together. I mean, we did a little expendables together, but we should have done something. <laughs> oh, thanks. Like, it's not too late. Like, so when's the next time you guys are getting together for bagels? <laughs> it's like, okay. The, you know what? This is the true thing. There was a picture somewhere. Uh, I didn't even notice. I had dinner with him on Thursday. Never mentioned anything. Oh, this guy is beautiful. Everything's wonderful. And then the next day, I'm going to have soul, uh, shoulder surgery. Yeah. So I'm going in at 9. He's coming out from 8 o'clock, and literally, our gurneys meet. <laughs> I have a hypodermic needle. He's all wrapped up. Same arm, same rotator <laughs> cuff. I go, I said, God, how did I not marry this guy? <laughs> <laughs> how is this, con you know, constantly... Since 1976, bumping into each other like that. Oh my God, I would go to pay and see a movie about both of you guys. Yeah. Me meeting yeah. on a gurney. It starts out there on a gurney, and that's when the adventure starts. But yeah. I know one of the movies that I love, and it's been 30 years since this hit movie, Cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cliffhanger. <laughs> now, they just announced a sequel. Yeah. Are you going to be hanging off mountains again? <laughs> But this time, I'm dropping people constantly. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've decided, now I'm, the, of course, the father, and it'll be my siblings. OK. My offspring, I should say. Yes. That, and they are siblings. It'll be a, a son and a, and a daughter. And they are primarily taking the majority of the action. Of course, I'll get hurt somewhere, and okay. I'll do one hang, <laughs> <laughs> obligatory hang, yeah. and then that's it. Okay, but what I want to know is, are you going to be dressed like this in the booty shorts <laughs> and, the, and the little tank top when you do yeah. your obligatory hang? I kind of look like a 200-year-old pole dancer now. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen, but thank you anyway. Oh, my gosh. 
I, you know, wh one of the things with Cliffhanger and all of the movies that you do, do you do your own stunts? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, dumb. Not good? Foolish. Not good, huh? Not good, because I'm serious, I've had every operation you can imagine. I mean, it's still going on, back, five back operations, three oh, neck fusions, really? shoulders, oh. knee, oh yeah. Dumb. Okay. <laughs> dumb, dumb. And I said, okay, it was, you just, what it is, you get revved up. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you're on a, you know, in intensive care. Like, sure, Dolph Lundgren, punch me as hard as you can. <laughs> and he did. And he did. And I'm still feeling it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's foolish. Today, luckily, they've become, come to their senses. They have CGI. It's like, you know, yeah. cut, bring someone else to get pounded. But back then, I didn't know any better. I was just so excited to be on a movie set. And yeah. now, I live on Advil. <laughs> if I had another daughter, I'd call her Tylenol and Advil. <laughs> Tylenol and Advil. Now, you, well, I know you're not doing stunts on this no. new reality show that no. you have with your family. Oh, exactly. The, the, the family Stallone. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the Advil and Tylenol, but this is a reality show with your family, your no. daughters and your wife. Why did you decide to do? I, because they're so wonderful, and we have this very interesting relationship at home where everyone <laughs> like yells at me, and, <laughs> and it's it, but it's funny because I yell back, it's back and forth, and it's it's all done in pretty good, uh, with mostly humor, but definitely love. And I thought. Usually, when people do reality shows, they go, oh, you're kind of like the end of your career and uh -huh. this and that. And I thought, you know, things are really booming. Why don't I do it now while I'm feeling somewhat revelant, somewhat yeah. active, and, you know, and let, let everyone see what it's really like at home. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah. So it's more of a documentary reality show, and you're just going the journey. But it's, <laughs> it's crazy. OK, I can't wait. Up next, Sly's family is going to join us to talk about their new reality show, The Family Stallone. Don't miss it. <laughs>